I'm with Dr. Lynn Kerr, and we were at the uh, press conference today at the National Press Club talking about the birth control pill. And what's significant about that, and, and what should people come out with? What should they know about what this conference was about today? Um, we reviewed the way that the pill can increase the risk of five of the leading ten causes of death in women. Sometimes it kills women very dramatically, and, and the association is very clear, such as when a woman develops a stroke when she's on the pill. But more often than that, it just increases um, dramatically her risk for the top killers of women. And sometimes that's not really um, well known, and yet certainly there is much healthier ways out there, ways that will not only increase our risk of death, but actually detect um, risk factors at the earliest stages so that we can do disease modification and really change the course of her life. And what is your specialty, and um, why were you called on to address this issue today? Um, I'm an associate clinical professor in internal medicine. I teach at the residency program, uh, the UCSF residency program in Fresno. And I teach internal medicine uh, residents. And so we're always looking for what it is that kills women and how can we change their health at an early stage. And statistically, if you were, uh, do you have numbers as far as how many women are either injured or killed by the pill every year? I, I wish I, we had those numbers because, again, there's been like numbers in the like eight, ten thousand of where it's the dramatic death and where it's actually reported. But I know even in the dramatic deaths, a lot of times it doesn't go reported. Um, people don't think to put that on the death certificate, and so that why why there's a, a push now that if we could have it as a question on the death certificate, we would really see that impact more because I really think it's underestimated. I, I see women come in all the time, and I know I could have changed the the health of their whole life if, um, if we taught her the natural methods first. Well, if you look at the box, it already has a lot of warnings on it. They don't put those warnings on there casually. What are some of the warnings that are on there? Right. And the, the pill can increase a woman's um, risk of heart disease, a risk of stroke. Certainly, it dramatically increases the risk of blood clots in her legs as well as in her lungs, which can lead to death. But it also has been tied to increased cervical cancer, breast cancer, and liver cancer, which is why the World Health Organization has declared them a group one uh, uh, carcinogens. Um, and then even some other things that greatly impact the quality of a woman's life. It increases her depression. It increases her risk of suicide by 50%. Um, it increases her risk of diabetes. Um, it worsens her cholesterol panel. So really the list goes on and on. That's a, that's a lot. And <laughs> you would think women would be scared to take something like that. I mean, especially in light of the fact that on Planned Parenthood's own website, it states that 5% of the time women on these pills result, it results in a pregnancy. Doesn't that isn't that something that should be of concern as well? I mean, they're taking the pill to avoid pregnancy, but I mean, if I, if I were to buy a car and the dealer were to tell me it's going to break down five out of a hundred times that you started, I wouldn't buy that car. Right. And you know, um, the, the goal of the pill is to break the reproductive system. It's not like normal um, medicine where we try to fix a problem. And if you take a young, healthy woman to break one of their functions, it really does take strong medication to suppress it so it's reliable. And so, you know, they'll quote 99% effective, but even with that, if they were to make it 100% effective, we'd definitely be killing women far more often. And so it's kind of their balance of cause the minimal amount of harm with the, um, the greatest amount of effectiveness, but um, it still amounts to a lot of harm. Now how can people find out more? Do you have a website? Um, I don't have a website. I think American Life League, though, has some very good question-answer spots. I wouldn't recommend You bet. ALL.org and, of course, STOPP.org, I believe, is the other website for that, Stop Planned Parenthood. For those of you who are interested in that, there's a lot of information on this. You should find out, not just take a pill. Like I was saying, the box has plenty of warnings on it. Um, what, what are some last words you can give to anyone who think, might think that they want to take the pill? Don't do it. I would never let my daughter do it. There's, there's so many good options. Um, and most of the time after I'm with a resident who comes out thinking just that, that, oh, you know, everyone's on the pill. And because 80% of American women have been on the pill, um, that usually after 45 minutes of me talking with them, they won't put their loved ones on the pill.